Welcome to another video. This problem came to my mind today, so I decided to create a poll in the community tab and said, which of these triangles does not exist? And I got so many answers and so many insights into the answers that many people gave. And I found it necessary to just give my opinion of what I think the answer is, because it appears there's some kind of disagreement between which triangle exists and which one does not exist. Well, let's get into the video. The most important thing we all agree on is that a triangle has three sides and it has three angles and it has three vertices. So take this for example. This has three sides, it has three corners which we call vertices and it has three angles, right? And it is closed. There is no gap between any two. That's why it has three corners, okay? So you don't have a space where if you're locked in a triangle, you cannot escape. So this apparently looks like a triangle this looks like a triangle. All of them look like triangles. Now, the reason why they look like triangle is because they are not drawn to scale. In the mo modern day, triangles in any math problem would not be drawn to scale unless they want you to actually measure. And since we don't go around with tapes or rulers anymore, you just have to do the math that this cannot be a triangle or this cannot be a triangle or this cannot be a triangle or this one. So how do you know if the numbers are justified? Well, you have to consider the triangle inequality, which does not only apply to triangles, it applies in many other fields of mathematics. So what does the triangle inequality say? It says that if A, B, and C are the sides of any triangle, it doesn't matter what type of triangle. So we have if A, B, and C if this is what you have, then the sum of any two sides must be greater than or equal to the third side. That is, if ABC are the sides of a triangle ABC, then A plus B must be greater than or equal to C. If you're adding A and B together, also A plus C must be greater than or equal to B. And thirdly, B plus C must be greater than or equal to A. So if you want to know if a triangle exists, you just have to pick any two sides, add them together and see if it is greater than the answer is greater than the third side. So let's begin our investigation. Why is this true? It is because you cannot form a triangle. Let's just, let me just show you the logic behind that. Look, let's say this is 10 and it is the, let's say this is the longest side of the triangle. Okay. And you have two other sides and one of the other sides is one. The other side is two. Can you have a triangle that has sides one, two, and 10? This triangle is impossible because if this is 10 inches long, then this is just one inch long and this is two inches long. As you can see, the two will never form a vertex. So you must have sufficient length in the other two so that when you add these and these together, there must be at least 10 or greater than 10. It is better if they're greater than 10 because that's when you actually have an angle. So you can have two short sides and one super long side. Now you're beginning to see what triangles don't work. Okay, so let's begin our investigation with the very first one. Let's take this one and see if it exists or not. If we check out triangle A, we can take any two and test all of these three and see if it satisfies this inequality. So we're gonna go, um, let's do two plus three is greater than one. Pass, because it satisfies this condition. A plus B is greater than C. Two plus three is greater than one. That's cool. A plus C, two plus one is greater than or equal to. 
Remember, when you have an OR statement, as long as either of them is true, it is true. So we can see that 2 plus 1 is greater than or equal to 3. But in this case, it is equal to 3, which also satisfies the triangle inequality condition, rather. However, there is this argument that if you have 3 as the length and one side is 2 and the other side is 1, they will not meet. They're too short. The only way these two lines will meet is if you actually flatten the whole thing so that this part is now completely lying on this part and this is completely lying on this part. Is this a triangle? Completely. It's flat, so it is now a straight line. Will you still call this a triangle? I need your answers. Let me hear what you're saying. It's either a yes or a no. Is this a triangle? It's just a straight line where you have this part to be the end part of here, okay? And another part here, and the two meet somewhere here. So three points, three vertices of a triangle are lying on a straight line, and you say it's a triangle. The answer is, yes, it is a triangle. <laughs> I know, it doesn't make any sense, but in the, in the world of mathematics, some things are just not normal. And because this triangle is not a normal triangle, you call it a degenerate triangle. So a degenerate triangle is any triangle that has all three vertices on a straight line. Okay, and this only happens if it flattens out. So it's like you've, you've collapsed all the parts, the vertices, you've crushed this down so that everything is now on a straight line. So this is called a degenerate triangle. And it is a triangle because it still satisfies the triangle inequality condition. So do not discard this. So this actually exists which I think was the controversial one in the uh, poll that I gave. So this is degenerate. And it is not only triangles. You have matrices that are degenerate, okay? Because typically, if you randomly build a matrix, it, it, it has a determinant that is not equal to zero. You have to be very intentional to create a matrix that has a determinant of zero. If you just pick random numbers, you'll always get. In fact, the probability of getting a matrix with a zero determinant is zero, unless you intentionally create it. That's the same thing about degenerate triangles. You get when I'm saying matrix, I'm talking about a square matrix. Sorry, I didn't say that clearly. So this is a degenerate triangle, and this is the most controversial part of it. This is still a triangle. Now, what kind of justification can you give? Let's take an example of why this is still a triangle. Consider this. If I give you a right triangle, and I say this angle is 20 degrees, I can find the sine of this angle. It is the opposite over hypotenuse, right? Now, if I make this shorter, if I make this angle, make it smaller, so that the height becomes smaller, I can keep reducing the height, and I'll keep getting smaller angles of theta. I can keep making this smaller and smaller until there is no more angle. It is just angle zero. This angle becomes so small that this line, the hypotenuse and the adjacent side, will just lie upon each other. And this is what you get. Do you think sine theta will still exist if this is the angle? It's sine zero. At this point, this becomes sine zero. What is sine zero degrees? It is zero. Is zero real? Yes. Is zero degrees real? Yes. Is sine zero real? Yes. Then this is a triangle because the sine of an angle is the ratio of the side opposite that angle to the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle just became zero length divided by the hypotenuse. So you'll be getting zero over some non-zero value, which is still defined. So this is a triangle. It is just a degenerate triangle. I hope that takes away 
all the confusion. And now you can investigate the rest of it because this was the problem. So A exists because it's a degenerate triangle, not a normal usual triangle. Does this exist? C, we'll come back to it. Let's go to B. Well, if we look at B, the sum of these two is greater than one. The sum of these two is greater than seven because this is eight. And these two will be greater than seven. That's eight. So this check, check. Let's go to this one. If you add 10 and 13, you get 23. It is greater than 21. Nice. 21 plus 10 is greater than 13. That's nice. 13 plus 21 is greater than 10. That's nice. When you get here, if you add 13 and 4, you get 17. It is greater than 7. 7 plus 13 is 20. It is greater than 4. But 7 plus 4 is not greater than 13. It's not even up to 13. And because of that, this triangle cannot exist, does not exist, is not real. So check, check, check. No check. A degenerate man is still a man. A degenerate triangle is still a triangle. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.